Italy is in the midst of a demographic crisis, the likes of which the country has never experienced before. While there were 700,000 deaths in Italy in 2022, there were just 393,000 births, a 14th consecutive drop in births per year and the lowest number since the country's unification in 1861. The fertility rate now stands at an untenable 1.24, far below the population replacement level and the lowest rate in Europe. In almost every statistic affecting fertility, Italy is now an outlier. The country holds the European record for the highest age of first-time mothers, at an incredible 31.4 years old. The problem has become so bad that Italian schools are now disappearing due to lack of student enrolment. In the last nine years, more than 2,500 infant and junior schools have had to close its doors. This problem will only get worse, as within the next decade it is estimated that there will be a million and a half fewer pupils than there are now, meaning more school closures. This problem will also persist into the future, as the population of old people relative to young is set to explode. It is clear that paying for social security is going to be a major problem for the government moving forward. So why are Italians having so few babies? In this video we will look at the main reasons for this dramatic decline. Low income and job security. According to the OECD, Italy experienced a decline in real wages between the years 1990 and 2020, one of the only developed nations to do so. Currently, the average gross salary of €27,000 is 12% below the European average and 23% below that of Germany. Such poor incomes mean that couples with children are forced to both have jobs in order to make ends meet. However, in Italy, only just over half of working age women are actually in employment. This is partly due to Italian culture, which is more traditional and puts more emphasis on women to stay at home and look after the family. Lack of home ownership. The combination of high house prices, high rents and a lack of stable jobs has stopped many young people from getting their feet on the property ladder. Renting has now become an enormous burden on the incomes of young people and low wage earners. In addition to inflation and the rising cost of living, the situation has become dire. An astonishing 70% of 18 to 34 year olds are still living with their parents. This is putting the lives of young people on hold and pushing their decision to have children further down the line. Insufficient childcare support. In Italy, the amount of financial support and childcare facilities provided by the government are just not enough to incentivize young people to have children. The number of places available at state-run nurseries remains scarce, while private care is so costly that many young couples simply can't afford it. Furthermore, middle schools, which are for children aged 11 to 14, typically end at 1pm and have neither canteens or on-site after-school activities. These issues force at least one parent to stay at home, and this has put extreme pressure on people's finances. Lack of employment for mothers Unfortunately, being a mother and having a career in Italy is becoming more and more difficult to achieve. Though Italian women without children work at the European average rate, mothers tend to drop out of jobs or are pushed into part-time or short-term contracts. Furthermore, many Italian women who become pregnant are forced to resign as they are unable to juggle work with family life. Later down the line, they also find it very difficult to re-enter the workplace, as employers are far less likely to hire a woman who has been out of work for a significant period of time. According to the Bank of Italy, working mothers are earning just half of what their childless female counterparts are, 15 years after the birth of a first child. In the most extreme cases, some women even get sacked when they fall pregnant. All of these reasons have reinforced the idea in Italian women that in order to have career goals, you cannot get pregnant. Hopelessness Speaking at a conference in May of 2023 on the growing demographic crisis, Pope Francis said the declining birth rate signalled a lack of hope in the future with younger generations weighed down by a sense of uncertainty and fragility. He said, The birth of children, in fact, is the main indicator for measuring the hope of a people. If few are born, it means there is little hope. And this not only has repercussions from an economic and social point of view, but also undermines confidence in the future. Starting a family has turned into a titanic effort, instead of being a shared value that everyone recognises and supports. 
Over the years, the government has given some financial incentives for young parents to have more children, but no policy has had any success yet. The trends are all headed in one direction. For Italy, it is the greatest threat to the economy moving forward, and there are no signs that anything can stop it. The world should watch what happens to Italy, as the same worrying trends are coming to many developed nations. If you enjoy this type of content and would like to know more about important economic trends affecting our world, make sure to subscribe to the T15 report. If you know anyone who would like this video, then please share it. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.